Good morning, everyone. Um, this first video that I'm recording today, it's mostly just to introduce myself and tell you a little bit of uh, more about, you know, my background and just so you get to know me a little bit better and and where all of my, you know, my focus is on. Um, so my name is Jessica Myros. Um, I I started um, wanting to do a lot of like natural stuff, um, you know, even doing research, trying to figure it out better ways to do things for my health, for my for my family and stuff like that. So um, what I decided to do is just to go online, you know, but like probably many other people that have. Uh, gone through the through the same path. Um, some people they're very fortunate to just were raised that way, you know, with their own garden, with their own products, uh, making everything from scratch. And unfortunately, I did not have that. Um, but as I uh, as I started to grow and uh, seeing how you know toxic things are and how um, dangerous things become uh, as, as I got older because from when I was a child um, things were a little bit better <laughs> not a lot but then um, but then you know really quickly started going really things really bad so um, basically um, what I did is just do uh, my own research online uh, trying to find out my main focus was like uh, products that I use um, you know like lotions uh, shampoos things that on our daily life that sometimes we we overlook just by the label that says natural or it has a nice label or things like that we we sometimes overlook those things but um, but I I kind of wanted to find out more about that and and uh and definitely find found out a lot um things that i didn't realize that were bad for my health and um bad for my family when when um you know when i talked to them and they didn't realize that either so <clears throat> sorry that my voice is kind of graspy today um kind of i don't know what maybe allergies that i'm going through but um, the main thing, um, I was in shock. It was the, the, the food that we consume um, and how we see things like, you know, sometimes um, fast food is the most convenient. Um, things that, you know, we purchase all the time, we think that that's okay, you know, that there's no damage on that. Everybody eats them, so what's gonna be the the issue on that? But um, definitely does have a lot of uh, impact in our health overall on a long period of time. So um, I thought that trying to fight that nowadays it's really challenging um one because we're really busy on our schedule we're always running around we're always in a rush we're always busy so it's definitely difficult i mean you know i don't i don't blame anything to anyone i am part of it there's nothing really much we can do but on a daily basis um a little bit of help a little bit of something that we can do to help ourselves and help our family members and help others definitely goes a long way um, for example um, if you have if, if your schedule depends on your schedule definitely so if you have um, a schedule that you go to work Monday through Friday so if it's not you know if it's not Monday through Friday, but then you have two days to, like your weekend or two days to rest. The best way that you can go about these um, nutrition issues, um, which um, 
before I get to that, I wanted to share a story. Um, I was in a health fair um, last week, and it's really amazing how many people suffer from um, from obesity, and it's really concerning. It's really um, frustrating to see and really sad to see, but. This is our reality. This is what we're going through, and this is what we suffer from. So, um, the uh, the uh, the the concept of obesity, it's really one um, the main the main issue that I I've, I've seen is just the social environment. Uh, we're pushed, you know, every corner we have a McDonald's. Uh, every corner we have just, you know food everywhere the food industry is just like an explosion and um, there's nothing we can do about it we're always running around um, you know we don't have time to prepare our food we don't have time to look at the label we don't have time to make sure that what we're eating it's really nutritious for us and we continue on the cycle and eventually things just started going really bad um, health-wise. One of the main things is obesity, but the, then the side effects from that is, you know, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, um, you know, liver issues, cholesterol, high cholesterol, um, just so many issues that that come along with, with obesity. But a lot of the times, then we get into that cycle and then we start to, uh, treating the side effects, which is this, the cardiovascular disease, treating them with pills, um, you know, diabetes, treating them with insulin and stuff like that. But really the main cause of these whole issues, you know, there's some other issues, generics or other, other, other influences. But, um, but one of the main things is the obesity. Uh, we overlook that. And it's really important to really try to prevent that as much as possible. Um, try to do our best because, yeah, it might be really fast. It might be really, you know, quick just to go to the drive-thru and get a, uh, uh, a hamburger or get something from the fast food uh, restaurant. But, you know, in the long term, if you're sick, if you can't work, if you're not productive, if your health goes down the drain, <laughs> what else are you gonna have, you know? So, this is just like, uh, uh, it made me really think when I when I was at the health fair and seeing all these people working and, and just seeing uh, the overweight um, population just one after the other one and I was like, wow. You know, um, I don't want that for my family. I don't want that for myself. I don't want that for anybody. Um, so basically, this is an introduction for me to kind of go over my main motivations and my main concerns uh, for myself, um, for my own health that I also want to transmit to you guys to kind of, you know, have a little bit of uh, reflection in what can we do better. Not that I said that anything is easier, you know, I I just had a, a, a slice of piece of um, lemon pie, but, you know, I mean, we all have weakness and um, there's nothing we can do about it. We just have to do our best that we can um, to try to manage those, you know, those main issues overall in your in your daily life, um, and also, you know, as part of your goal to become healthier and balanced and uh, and just centered with ourselves and being happier. If we have all of that, then we'll become happier um, in our life. So um, that's uh, that's one of the main reasons why um, I wanted to go to school for, you know, holistic nutrition, just to be able to 
kind of learn more for myself and share this knowledge that I get through school um, with with all of you guys and it has been very helpful um, that's why I wanted to do this um, you know session with you to kind of give you some time for you to also share your stories share your transformations that you've been going through um, to inspire me to inspire others um, that will be very amazing to have a, a community that supports each other and and find different ways to do it better for for yourself and for others um, so please feel free to share with me um, make a comment down and um, make sure you you know you kind of share your story and give us a little bit of background on yourself and I think oops sorry <laughs> my ducks um, uh, a, a little bit more of, of you know my interest it's the nutrition part for sure um, I think if we can do a little bit of um, effort to make sure that you know we have things in balance and you are our nutrition, our exercise, our just spiritual self.